Hi guys, this is Sadef from Robin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Android 15G apps on your Android phone. The steps are applicable across all the custom ROMs. So with that said, it's recommended that you take a backup of all the data on your phone. Even though flashing the app will not wipe off any data, but if possible, do take a backup just to be on the safer side. So with that said, there are quite a few variants of G apps. The basic is the core G app which only has around 5 apps which are the must and it's a, it's required to run your phone efficiently. Apart from that, you have the basic G apps which has everything from core G apps and a few additional apps. Then Omni G apps, everything from basic. And then the rest of these apps, then you have the stock G apps, everything from Omni and then all these additional apps. And the full G app which has all the Google app packages and framework. It is the heaviest package and the core G apps is the lightest one. So if you are looking just for the basic need for the Google app packages, then you may go with the core G app, which is the most popular one. But if you want to use a Google ecosystem, then you may go with the stock or the full G app packages. Do know that some apps such as Android Auto is only there in full G apps. So you might have to use the full G app in order to get this app. Apart from that, there's one more variant which is the Go G apps. The Go G apps is only meant for the Android Go phones. Android Go phones are those phones which have a RAM of 2GB or less. So these are the legacy phones, very old build. So it's not required. Please don't flash this on your phones. Only if your phone has RAM of 2GB or less, then only go with the Go version or else you may simply go with the Core, Basic, Omni, Stock or Full. For the sake of reference, I'll use the Core G apps, which is the lightest in size. It's obvious because it has the least number of apps. With that said, there exists quite a few you could say developers who make the G apps, for example, Lite G apps, Nick G app, Mind the Gap, Bit G apps, and for C Android, they have their own G app packages. So these four are the main developers. So in most cases, the ROM developer would suggest you to flash a particular G app. But if that is not the case, then you may either go with Nick G apps or Mind the Gap. I personally use Nick G apps. You may try any one of these. It's not a cause of concern. So for example, let's opt for the Nick G apps. So go to their download link. And scroll down to download now then from there you will have to go to the re release section and from re release choose the android 15 build and now you may choose the latest build which is of 31st december and you could see we have all the the core basic omni stock and full all the gf variants are there so download the one of which correspond to your requirement as you could see the core gf is always the most famous one as you could see over here as well and I have already got the core G app packages with me. This is the core G app which I will be flashing. So make sure to verify the CPU architecture as well. Most of the Android phone nowadays have ARM64 architecture. And they and that is the case over here as well. The G apps are for ARM64. So near about 99% of the phones are ARM64 only. So it should not be a cause of concern. But you could install a device in for any such apps and get hold of the CPU architecture as well. So with that said, you may also install the CPU Z app and get the job done. Although all the phones are ARM64, so you must skip the check. Anyways, moving on. Now that you have got the packet, let's not flash it. So you could flash it using a custom recovery like TWRP and Orange Fox or any USP recovery such as the Linux OS recovery, CRO recovery. The flashing steps are slightly different in both the cases. So I'll show you both the methods. So once you have got the GI packages, let's get started. First off, get hold of the latest Android SDK platform tools from my guide and extract them onto your PC. So as you could see, this is the platform tools files. Once that is done, you will now have to boot your phone to the fast to the recovery mode. In most cases, you might already be in the recovery mode. But if that is not the case, then let's let's boot our phone to the recovery mode. For that, you will have to enable USB debugging as well. So just give me a second. Go to the settings menu on your phone. Then go to about phone. And then tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. And that's it. Now go to the system. And beginning with Android 15, the system section has now been moved downwards. Then go to developer option, enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. You might get one more prompt. In that prompt, tap on allow. And debugging is now enabled. Let's verify the same. So let me copy the path of platform tools. Then open CMD window and type in CD chain directory, paste the path, hit enter. You are now inside the platform tools directory. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting an ID. Moving on, now type in ADB reboot recovery. 
and hit enter. In most cases, the G app is flash after flashing the custom ROM. So you might already be in the recovery mode, but if you're not in the recovery mode, then manually reboot to recovery via this command. And after that, so if you have currently flashed a custom ROM, then before flashing the G apps, you will have to do a reboot to recovery. This is a must I'm again repeating. You cannot simply flash the G apps after flashing the custom ROM. You will first have to do a reboot to recovery and only then you could flash the GI packages. So in case of AOSP recovery, first I'll show you that and then I'll show you how to flash via the TWRP recovery. So currently I'm using a lineage OS recovery. So in that case, once you have flashed the ROM file, go to advanced and select reboot to recovery. Your phone will now reboot to the recovery mode. And once that happens, you must then sideload the GF zip file. So for sideloading, you will first off have to transfer the GF zip file in the platform tools directory. So copy the GF from here and transfer it here inside the platform tools. For the ease of convenience, let's rename it to something shorter. So let's rename it to GApps and the complete name becomes gapp.zip. And now you may select apply update, apply from ADB and then open CMD window, type in ADB devices and verify that we're getting the sideload keyword as you could see over here. And now you may sideload the GApps zip file. So type in ADB sideload file name, which is gapp.zip and the flashing will now start. Do note that you will get a warning sign on your phone as you could see signature verification failed. This is only happening because the GApp package is not from the same developer who has made the ROM. So if you try to sideload any file which is not the part of the ROM developer, you will get this prompt. It is completely normal and nothing to worry about. Just tap on yes and the sideloading will now start and it will take some time depending on the GApp packages which you are using. In my case, I'm using the core GApp which is the shortest one. So it will take very little time, but if you are flashing the stock or full G apps, it might take a little bit longer. So as you could see, the flashing is now done. Install completed. And now you may tap on reboot system now and your phone will now boot to the OS. So this was the step to flash G app using an AOSP recovery. I will now show you how to flash G app using the PWRP recovery. Do keep in mind that you cannot do the side loading via the PWRP or Orange Fox. In case of Orange Fox and PWRP, you will have to use the install option. Please never use the side loading option with PWRP. So with that in mind, let's now proceed ahead and flash the G apps using the PWRP recovery. So for that, I will have to replace my linear OS recovery with the PWRP recovery, which will take just a few seconds. So just give me some time. I will quickly replace the recovery file. So currently I'm having a lineage recovery. I will replace it with the PWRP recovery, flash it across both the slots. This is the file. And let me now boot my phone to the fast boot mode, which is ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Let me just flash the recovery fast boot flash recovery file name, which is this. And let me flash it across both the slots. And I now have the recovery flashed. Now we are using the WRP recovery. So it will take a few seconds to be flashed. Once that is done, let me now reboot it. So fast boot reboot recovery. And now we are inside the WRP recovery. Let's give it a few more seconds to boot up and then I will show you how to flash the G apps using that recovery. So your first course of action is to transfer the G app file onto your phone. So, okay, just a minute. Let me decrypt it and decryption has been done successfully. Okay, moving on for TWRP recovery, you have to transfer the file onto your phone. So this is the G app zip file, simply copy it and transfer it here. So in some cases, your phone might not be shown on your PC. If that is happening, then simply you, what you could do is use an ADB command. So type in ADB push file name, which is gapps.zip space forward slash SD card. And the file will then be transferred onto your phone. Even if it's not shown here, there is every chance that the file will still be transferred. So this command will come in handy if you cannot mount the data partition. So with that said, we have the GS file. So at this instance, I am assuming that you have flashed a a custom ROM. So once you have flashed the custom ROM, you will have to go to re reboot and choose recovery. Once you choose recovery, your phone will reboot to the TWRP recovery once again. And once that happens, only then you could flash the GI package. Do not directly flash the GI after flashing a ROM. Always first do a reboot to recovery. And once that is get done, go to install, choose the GI zip file and try to flash it. The flashing will now start. And again, depending on the package which you have chosen, the flashing might take some time. I have flashed the code G apps and that is why it was very fast. And as you could see, the flashing is now done. 
if you want you may wipe the dalvik cache which is completely optional and that's just about it you may then tap on reboot system and your phone will then boot to the os so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching